Lynette is chopping broccoli. She's chopping broccoli. She's chopping brock uh. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews and we do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we whip up a recipe from Lynette, you'll be alerted to it. So today, we're going to make a super simple side dish, and this is great for going to parties, to meetups, anything you can think of, it's great for a summer picnic or just to have part of your dinner. We're gonna make a easy broccoli salad, but I do wanna say, this is not our recipe. Nope. We actually discovered this recipe from Lynette Yay! over at Keto Chow. She's also a member of our Facebook family group. And when we were out in Utah, we tried it and we're like, okay, oh. we are making this. Would you mind if we make it on our channel? And she said, absolutely. Now, I did Thanks, make Lynette. one little change, but we'll get into that when we get to it. Now, this is a super easy recipe. How easy is it? It is so easy. Even Rachel could make it on her own. Yay, I'm so excited. Thanks so much, Lynette, for making something delicious and also making something that I can make too. Okay, you ready to get into this? Yes. Let's go over what we're gonna need. First thing you're gonna need is a whole bunch of chopped up broccoli. This is a broccoli salad. We have about eight cups here. Now, we actually tried to make this recipe and we bought broccoli and then we got busy and the broccoli went bad, so we bought it a second time. This time we bought the bag of already cut up broccoli, yeah. and I just broke it up a little bit more. So we got about eight cups of that. So go ahead and put that to the side. We need some sour cream. Yum. Now the link for this entire recipe is going to be down below. Our website is up and running, so I'll be able to add it there. So link down there, and again, not our recipe. This is from Lynette. We're going to need some vinegar. Not now, to brag about it. She called, she just called for like white vinegar. I don't have white vinegar. I do like it with apple cider vinegar. Though. I like apple cider vinegar. We need some mayonnaise. Now you can use any brand you want. We prefer to use one with good oils. This is just the one that we have chosen. Yeah. Get it? Now, a lot of times we will use our own mayo. I will leave a link for that recipe right up here, but I didn't feel like making a bunch of mayo today. And we had a bunch of these because they were on sale at Costco. We need a red onion. Actually, a quarter of a red onion, but I want to show you the whole onion. This is what an onion looks like. It's hard on keto. We don't really recognize vegetables as much as we used to. We need some cheese. We're going to use about six to eight ounces. I just cut off a piece and whatever it was, it was. You can use any kind of cheese. As a matter of fact, you can buy like little ones like this one here, mm -hmm. this coarse radish cheese, anything you can think of. That's just one we grabbed over at BJ's. Cheddar. We need some bacon. We always need bacon. And then we need some ranch seasoning mix. Now, you can go to the store and buy some, though a lot of them do have malted extra and other things in there. Or you could make up your own. I will leave a link for um, Lynette's actual ranch dressing seasoning mix down below. That'll be part of the recipe. So I actually make up a whole bunch of ranch seasoning mix and then just add in the amount that you need. Yeah. You ready? Yes. Let's push all this to the side and then we'll get into this. Okay, you ready? Yes, I am. This is super simple. First, you're gonna take a bowl of broccoli. I have a bowl of broccoli. Okay, then to that, you're gonna add your cheese, which you have cut up into little tiny cubes. It's cubed. You're gonna add in a quarter of diced up red onion. Whoo, it's stanky now. I used to be so used to the onion smell in the house, and now it's like I we can- We don't use a lot of onion. I anymore. can pick it out. Then you're gonna take your bacon, which I have already cooked. Mm. You're going to cook up about eight pieces of bacon, but you know what, if you have 10, never gonna hurt to have too no much bacon. No one's upset about that. Go ahead and put that in there. You could use like, like the pre-made bacon chips, but it's just as easy to kind of make up your own. Go ahead and give that a really good mix. Leave it to a ketovore to have a salad mostly comprised of bacon, cheese, and mayonnaise. <laughs> you got that good mix? Good mix. Okay. We're gonna push this off to the side. 
Now we're gonna take another bowl, and in that bowl, we're gonna add a half a cup of mayonnaise. I like where this is going. And again, recipe is linked down below. Quarter a cup of sour cream. A teaspoon of your vinegar. I like the smell of that. I know that's weird. And then two tablespoons of your ranch seasoning mix. That smells very ranchy. Okay, yep. go ahead and give that a really good mix. I'm just gonna put this stuff on everything. This would be a good dip just on its own. Absolutely. Now that you've got that done, we're gonna bring back our broccoli. You're gonna pour that in there and then give it a really good mix. Don't wanna miss any of this. And this is not something that I could just pour my coffee down and make sure I swish around and get all the ranch mixture. That would not be good. I'm cooking now, Ma. I think these broccolis are going to be the best dressed at the party tonight in my stomach. It looks like you're done. And guess what? You're done. It's actually ready to eat now. It's ready to eat. Now, if you want it a little bit more saucy, you could just add a little bit more sauce or less broccoli. It just depends on how I'm you like it. I'm pretty saucy. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Gotta get a little piece of everything. Love and then it. Cheese, bacon. broccoli, and bacon. That's what I want. Oop, there's a little onion guy. Yeah. Ready? Dink. Mmm. That's wow. so good. Wow. That's so good. Flavor explosion. And that's it. You know, and super easy. You can whip this up in like five minutes as long as you have all the ingredients. Like I said, Delicious. best thing to do, make up a whole bunch of the ranch seasoning mix. Yes. Keep it in a little container and you can make ranch dressing with it. Chicken. You can make this with it. You can put it over your chicken, anything you want. That's gonna be today's video. Let us know down in the comments section. First, let us know if you've ever tried a Lynette's broccoli salad, maybe at one of the keto chow events or something like that. And then let us know if you do make this. Also, let us know what are some of your other favorite side dishes to bring to parties, yes. picnics, and things like that. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over there. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we have a new recipe to share, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.